sporty, connected, and handsome. These are words that we usually don't use to describe values of compact sedans. But heck, the Nissan Almera VL Turbo here wants to be called just that. So, does it have the chops to be called sporty, connected, and handsome? Can it earn its place in your garage as, let's say, your very first car? Well, dude, time for us to find out. Let's do this. Despite the popularity of crossovers in SUVs, there is still a case to be made for sedans, especially for those looking for their first car. The Nissan Almera VL wants to strengthen that case with its latest facelift. Not only does it look good, the Nissan Almera also has a new connectivity feature called Nissan Connect Services that is a first for the subcompact sedan category. Of course, these upgrades come at a cost since the top-spec Nissan Almera VL Turbo now retails for 1,149,000 Philippine Pesos. That makes the Nissan Almera VL Turbo one of the priciest sedans in the category, so here lies the question. Can it justify that asking price? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. All right, so before we go to the drive itself, which in a nutshell is pretty fantastic for the category, uh, let's talk about the connectivity feature first. This top spec Nissan Almera VL Turbo is equipped with Nissan Connect services, which allows you to control your car via an app on a smartphone. Yeah, so, Essentially, you can lock or unlock your car, uh, remote start the engine from anywhere in the world as long as you have a good internet connection. You can get updates on your PMS schedule and you can also call for help in case of an emergency. Hmm. Yeah, call for help. Hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Isn't that what your smartphone is for anyway? <laughs> I mean, you can always call for help on your smartphone, right? I mean, I, I, anyway, I, I don't really know how that, that SOS emergency call works on the app, but heck, yeah, dude, it's still a nice feature to have. Now, as for the drive, I have to say, it's been a very pleasant experience. You see, I usually don't expect too much from these value subcompact sedans, but the Almera VL Turbo has exceeded my expectations. Outward visibility is one of the best in the category, making it such an easy car to drive. We also have a 1-liter 3-cylinder turbo engine here, but despite the odd number of cylinders, it is still quite refined and it doesn't really vibrate too much when you're, when you're idling. Now this 1-liter turbo engine is also quite peppy, which really surprised me, uh, despite having only 100 PS and 152 Newton meters of torque. Now we can give credit to the transmission. You see, we have a CVT transmission here that has been tuned by Nissan to deliver a good amount of, you know, of, uh, of torque and power uh, down low. And uh, yeah, the, the acceleration is smooth and really refined. I mean, it's a really, really good experience, uh, at least for me. Now, the Almera can also reach triple digit speeds and it can do so with a good amount of composure. You know, it doesn't feel like it's strained. It doesn't feel like it's running out of air. I mean, it is so smooth. It's such a smooth operator. <laughs> The steering feel is also a great balance of assistance and road feel. I mean, it's still an electric power assist system, so it's still kind of artificial, uh, but it does have a good amount of heft and the steering response is pretty sharp considering the category. Now, I'd even venture to say that yeah, the drive feel of the Almera VL Turbo is, yeah, it's borderline sporty, because I got a chance to like take it out through fast corners and twisties 
and yep dude the handling is flat and neutral and it's really lively i mean i had a lot of fun doing that now this is something that you wouldn't really say uh, for let's say the previous generation almera but with this late latest version yeah i can feel that uh, yeah that nissan's racing dna has trickled down to the the tuning of the drive experience of this Almera VL Turbo. Which also applies to the exterior design. You see, while the previous Almera was a bit round and pudgy, this new Almera with its facelift, yeah, just oozes with sex appeal. You see, the facelift brought to us this redesigned front grille here that comes with a lot more horizontal slats making the Almera VL Turbo look wider and uh, lower than before. Now, of course, we still have the signature checked uh, LED DRLs here as well as the full LED headlight units and LED fog lights. Now, when you put it all together, uh, this redesign, this facelift, uh, in my opinion, makes the Almera the sportiest looking value subcompact sedan in the category today. That sporty flavor is further enhanced by the two-tone paint job that we have going on here. Now, this, my friends, is the flagship color of the Nissan Almera, which means that it's only available on this top-spec Almera VL Turbo trim. We have this uh, blacked-out roof and blacked-out pillars, as well as this moon pearl gray paint job here. And I just have one word, one word to say about this paint job gorgeous i mean dude it is positively stunning and it makes the almera vl turbo look bigger and longer than it actually is it's it's actually a great uh, a great look because yeah even my wife when she first saw the almera vl turbo yeah she thought that this is the same vehicle category as the toyota camry i mean it's it's it just looks longer and bigger than than it actually is now, on to the amenities. Well, we have a set of blacked out power folding side mirrors with LED turn signals here. And we also have a set of the same size 16 inch alloy wheels, although we, they now have a fresher design. Now, as for the mechanical bits, well, we have ventilated disc brakes up front. We still have drum brakes at the back. Yeah, um, a bit budget meal. But anyway, uh, for the suspension, we have a MacPherson front suspension and a torsion beam at the back. Now, I do know that, yeah, it sounds like it's a bit on the budget meal side, as I said, but heck, it works, it delivers, so it's not really a big deal. Now, as for the ground clearance, well, it still stands at 135 millimeters, which is still the same as before. The Almeras cabin is simple, functional, and a nice place to spend time in. You see, we get blue leather accents on the middle dashboard here, plus uh, black leather seats with the same blue accents. Uh, the leather wrapped steering wheel here also now gets buttons for cruise control. And uh, the leather material that they use in this facelifted Almera is a huge improvement from before. You see, we now have a soft and smooth leather here versus the dinosaur skin pebbly leather that I first encountered when I featured the Almera uh, VL before, before the facelift. Now, the wheel also still adjusts for tilt and it also telescopes, so that's great news for taller drivers out there. And we also have the same format and layout for your instrument gauge cluster. We have a digital screen here with an analog speedometer and we also have uh, an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system which now comes equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, thank you for that, as well as the image of the around view monitor, which is Nissan Speak for a 360 degree view camera image. So yes, the addition of um, cruise control here, we have cruise control buttons now, and um, Android Auto plus the improvement of the material for your steering wheel is a two thumbs up for me. Now as for the safety bits, as you're seeing on your screen, well, we get the same uh, Nissan Intelligent Mobility Safety Systems here, although we now added uh, cruise control, which we didn't have before. 
And uh, unfortunately though, although we have that, yeah, it's still, uh, it's still a little bit uh, behind the other competitors out there, mainly because they have adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist, which we don't get here. Now, other than that, well, we do have a wireless charge pad now. That's a plus. Um, yeah, and uh, aside from that, all the other amenities and creature comforts here remain the same as the pre-facelift, including this manual handbrake right here. One of the bigger advantages of that 1-liter Turbo 3 is the fuel economy. You see, city drives have returned to me a robust 10.5 kilometers per liter helped by that idling stop system that this Almera VL Turbo is equipped with. Now, the highway fuel consumption is also no slouch because I was able to get as much as 24 kilometers per liter if you're driving at a constant 80 kilometers per hour and if you drive with a light foot. However, if you drive like me, then uh, a highway fuel consumption of around 19 kilometers per liter would be more realistic. Now, let's head over to the back seat to check out the NVH and the back seat comfort. So, despite having a torsion beam rear suspension, the ride quality here at the back is nice and comfortable. Now, that's helped by the fact that we have a nice and spacious back seat here, courtesy of the longer wheelbase and the wider um, body of this Almera VL Turbo. Now, as for the NVH, well, it's pretty standard for a value subcompact sedan, which means that at higher speeds, yes, some wind noise would start to creep into the cabin. Now, as for the amenities, well, I'm quite bummed out to see that we only have a solo USB charge port here. We don't have uh, rear AC vents yet, but at least we have this center armrest that comes with a pair of cup holders. The rear end also received a minor redesign here. You see, we still get the same LED taillight units with the same uh, shape and design. Uh, and we also have the same rear garnish on the rear bumpers, although they're now finished in faux carbon fiber. Now we also have a, uh, a faux rear diffuser right here. So, yep, it looks uh, a tad bit sportier than before. Now, as for the trunk space, hold on, there you go. As for the trunk space, well, we still have the same 474 liters of cargo capacity, which means that we can take my Sky Travel luggage right here. See, you can put it right there. See, and you can put a second large Sky Travel luggage here, plus some smaller items beside it. Now, if you're looking for the spare tire, well, the spare tire can be found inside the trunk. Well, we do have a donut spare tire there uh, in case of emergencies. If there's one takeaway I got from my week-long drive of the Almera, it's how easy it is to drive around town. The superb outward visibility and that peppy turbo engine makes the Nissan Almera such an enjoyable car to drive. Now, I didn't expect to have this much fun driving the Nissan Almera VL Turbo, which turned out to be a pleasant surprise for me. So for those of you who are considering a spacious, fun to drive and well-connected subcompact sedan, you would do well to take a good look at the Nissan Almera VL Turbo. Thanks for watching.